Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. Good morning from Chaco Peak State Park, Arizona. So last week, if you've been following along, last week, you'll know, we're sitting at Pichaco Peak State Park, not Pikachu, Pichaco. Pichaco Peak State Park, Arizona. Go back to last week and you can get all the info on this one. I like it. Great waypoint stop, but right now we're loaded up. We're about to roll out. We're gonna drive a couple hours and we're gonna go to Karchner Cavern State Park. So we'll see you at Karchner Caverns State Park. We made it to Karchner, Karchner Caverns State Park. And I had some very disappointing news. Uh, cave tours are close. It's a indigenous people day. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was actually uh, Columbus day, indigenous people day. I didn't realize that was a, a holiday that caverns didn't give tours. I, I don't know. Anyway, I don't get to take a tour of the cavern. But I get to give you a tour of our campsite. My, how the scenery has changed. We're in site number 31 in the Mesquite Grove. The dogs are going to be happy because we actually have some, <laughs> some grass. Asphalt pad that is not level. Side to side is not too bad. Uh, but this is the most extreme, and we're still, I needed to add at least two more blocks, but we're just one night. We we can live with everything running downhill. All of Our heads will be at the back. So, 30 amp with water. And you know your state park gets really cold when they have... Uh, heat tape, heat tape on the, the water connection. We have some great big ants that are nesting. Kind of a metal picnic table right out in the sun, so we know that's going to be. We can probably fry some eggs on that right now. And then we have a burn barrel. We're not in a burn ban, but there's a lot of wind. The official DRV shower check. That one's good. That one's pretty good too. And they have a family. <clears throat> now the facilities themselves are a little bit dated. They could use some refreshing. Pets are not allowed in the restroom. Yep. They're all good, and actually they are. Okay, so. Does that one work? Doesn't work. They're not too far from our site. The restrooms that is are right down the way. They have four cabins available for rental. I think they're all four occupied. So time to deploy some wheels. Oh, this one may be available. Open. Nope, there's somebody there. You can cover that cup. All right, so it's time to deploy some, some wheels and we'll go see some Karchner Caverns stuff. 
make sure you bring sunscreen to Karchner Caverns State Park if you're going to be camping here. We're at 4,700 feet elevation. And boy, you get in the sun and you realize that's, that's a lot of sun rays. All right, bike is set up, ready to run, ready to ride. So let's, let's go see some Karchner Caverns State Park stuff. Karchner Village Volunteer or Kirchner Caverns Volunteer Village. That's it. Looks like there's plenty of opportunity for you to volunteer at Kirchner Caverns. All right. I don't know what else. There, I don't think there's anything at this at the end of this road. So we're going to go right over here. If you're looking for a place in South Central Arizona to have a family gathering, Karchner Cavern State Park has a group camping area with a pavilion. Now you don't have to camp to use the pavilion, but it's for as it's a long drive to anywhere, so you might want to plan on staying. All right, I guess we're gonna go see the main facility, main building. Really interesting things to explore while you're here at Karchner Cavern State Park. And one of those is the Guindani Canyon Trail. Uh, it's 1.31 miles. I guess the Cottonwood Saddle. Where is it? Guindani 4.2 one way. The connector's 0.2. So this one, this whole one right here is 4.2 miles. We're here. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go over here, the Discovery Center, because we can't go there. Oh, they have mountain lions, rattlesnakes, even domestic animals. You probably won't see one if you're in the campground. I, I just gotta say, this this is the first for Dude RV. This is the first, I've been to a lot of campgrounds and I've visited a lot of dump stations. And this one's not too bad. Looks like it's a two holer, two lanes. Got uh, flush and fresh. I think that's potable water. But what this one has that no other dump station has, and I, I haven't been to any state parks that actually have a helo pad at the dump station. So I guess if you need to dump the tanks on your helicopter, you can just drop right on in. <laughs> That's probably, probably the widest spot for the, um, the emergency ambulance. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. If you arrive, if you if you arrive at Karchner Cavern State Park early and your site is still occupied, fear not. They have an RV bus overflow parking. They got a lot of parking out here. And it doesn't. I don't know. Maybe there's more cars. I'll hold off on on saying what I was gonna say. All right, we're getting close. We're at the Discovery Center. So jackhammers and rock splitters. Rock saw. any photography or video or camera, they don't even let you take your cell phone. So you have to put them in a locker. We're gonna go check out the Discovery Center.
Giant sloth. Hmm. So the remains of that are uncommon in southwestern Arizona. through those little openings. I guess if you're really into caverns. Well, we don't get to go on the tour. The recreations of stalactites and stalagmites. And so the straw. which break away from the ceiling often fall straight down into the floor. Some of these fallen straws are embedded vertically in the mud. 21 feet. Hundreds of years. Some are embedded at an angle and some wake up on top of the mud. That's crazy. If you're wanting to have a big group event, if you want to do a big group event at Karchner Caverns State Park, <laughs> look at this. Great big massive pavilion. There's even a grill over there. I think that's the cavern opening. We can't go in, but I'm gonna see how close I can get. They actually have a tram, so you don't have to hike all the way over there. That's good to know when I come back. All right, I need to come during the week. All right, so we can't go past the desk. We can't actually go out the door without somebody buzzing us through. So we'll go do a bike ride. Good morning from Karchner Canyon State Park. We gotta see the sunset. I mean sunrise, you gotta see the sunrise. Oh, this morning it just, it lit up that mountain range. Oh, it's so beautiful. A little, little bit chilly this morning. We are in the high desert. Boy, I was feeling rough yesterday. I think I got way too much of the high desert UV rays. Okay. I was just seeing how chilly it was. We're done here. We gotta, gotta go to Texas. Gotta go, gotta go to El Paso. It's about 300 miles be a long day but i we need to talk about karchner caverns i really we really like this park of course we, we've been liking all of the campgrounds so far that we've been in the public campgrounds uh, i think we're going to deviate from away from public because we're, we're going to be heading out across west texas tomorrow into fort stockton and if you've traveled across that part of texas you know there's <laughs> and there's not much out there. <clears throat> well, there's a we're gonna visit a private campground in Fort Stockton. There is a there's a harvest host there, but looking at the Google images of that, I I'm not a, not a big fan. That business it doesn't look like that business is in operation anymore either. So, but Karchner Caverns State Park come during the week and plan ahead if you want to see the caverns and make a reservation if you're not into caverns 
this is a great campground. It's well maintained. There's not hard. There's no litter. No litter. It was pretty dang quiet. Now there's some road noise, and I'm 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 amazed at how how the sound travels out here in the desert. I've not done a whole lot of desert camping. Um, sound really travels. And I highly recommend you use sunscreen. I, last night I was just, I, I felt like I was road hard and put up wet. So, I'm rambling, I do a lot of editing. We're done here at Karchner Caverns for State Park. Yappy's driving the first leg this morning. So he's gonna start off with a 6% grade on an I-20, I mean I-10. All right, so if you found some value in this little video, I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you'd click on that thumbs up. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I would really appreciate you considering clicking on that subscribe button. That also really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. That's why I get to do what I do. That's why I get to see this. Look at that mountain back there. Can you see it? Can you see that mountain? Yeah. Thank you. And for our patrons, we are most grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?